here are five male monarchs that all eclosed or hatched out of their chrysalises just today and they've been in the enclosure for a while and now I brought them outside this is my new my new trick is to hang them up well I don't hang them up they hang themselves up I get them on my finger and I bring them up to this rope and they sit on the rope until they're ready to move on until they're ready to fly away So they're warming up now by flexing their their wings and soon they'll fly off. I was just out in the pasture across the road from here looking for caterpillars, monarch caterpillars and monarch uh, um, milkweed leaves to feed them and I don't even know how many I've brought home today probably another couple dozen and for some reason most of the ones that came out of the chrysalises today were males I think there were ten total who came out that came out today and I think only one of them was a female and I'm not sure why I've been finding so many males and so few females and whether I haven't been able to locate yet any information as to distribution by, by sex uh, for monarch butterflies I know that the males are very competitive for territory. And that a female in her lifetime, her lifetime is two to five weeks, can lay 300 to 500 eggs. And I've also had some today that had problems. I had one that uh, his chrysalis was damaged when it was made, when he pupated, when he made his chrysalis, shed his skin and made his chrysalis. It was damaged somehow and he was, he came out of the chrysalis missing one of his front legs. and. He fell to the bottom of the box, and even though I, I reached, I reached in there pretty quickly and got him up on my finger and, and got him hanging somewhere. Uh, his wings are a little deformed, and he's got one leg missing. So he may end up being one of my monarch house guests. Which I've had in the past and just kept them in the house and, and fed them until they until they die. But in the tradition of Native Americans and particularly Lakota tradition, these are my brothers. These are my relatives. And the Lakota word for butterfly is Kamimila. And one of them has already flown away. There's only four left on the on the rope now. So I wish them a good journey, and I say, "Takwi awesome.
all are my relations.